Hello gamers, I am Tigwick and tonight we're going to take a look at enabling two-factor authentication on both Beam.pro and your Discord account. And the reason we want to do that is just for the heightened security you get from having two-factor authentication enabled. Um, if you'd like to learn more about two-factor, you can stay until the end of the video and I'll give you a brief explanation as to why it's more secure. But uh, if for just enabling it, let's begin very quickly. You'll need to have a smartphone. Unfortunately, if you do not have a smartphone, this, this method is not going to work for you because we have to download an app. It's the Google Authenticator app and that app is going to be your two-factor, uh, the other side of the two-factor authentication. So. Uh, on your Apple phone or your, you know, your your iPhone or your uh, your Android phone, you can grab the copy of the Google Authenticator app. Uh, it's here on the Android Store, or on uh, Google Play, and on the iTunes Store here. And it looks just like this. It does in the screenshot here. So um, you can kind of tap the icon in the top corner, and it looks very similar on the. Um, the Android version as well, and add an account. Uh, I believe that's probably the plus here on the um, on the iPhone version as well, maybe. And when you add an account, you're given some info from the site that wants to enable two-factor authentication. So on the Beam side, once you've got the um, the Authenticator program running on your phone and you've got it open, on the Beam side, log into your Beam account. Uh, click on your profile image and go to your uh, to the account settings. Browse to the account and security up at the top, and then click this button here to enable two-factor authentication under the two-factor authentication section here. It prompts you with a QR code, which you can then scan using the uh, the app. The app may or may not request you to download a barcode scanning app. You'll have to follow the instructions that the app presents to you. I don't have control over that. I can't really easily show you that, but it, it may prompt you to install a third-party uh, barcode scanner, so please do that, and then scan the QR code. It will create the... Um, the, the, the necessary things and, and, and add a new line into your Google Authenticator program displaying, you know, I think it says Beam and perhaps your username next to it. And it will prompt you, it will, it will present a, a six digit code that will um, change every minute or however long it is. And it wants you to enter uh, that uh, six digit code, whatever's on the screen there at this time and just punch it in there and hit activate two factor. And when you do that, it will enable two factor for your entire account such that next time you log out and log back in, not only will you get a password prompt, but once you enter your password, you'll be requested um, this, this six digit number. And it will be different um, you know, every minute or so. And so you, you basically pick up your phone, you open the Google Authenticator app, you, you look for your entry there that says Beam.pro and it will have a six digit number on the screen currently. And you just basically just type that out and hit okay and you log in. And and that's as easy as it is to set it up for Beam.pro. For uh, for Discord, it is almost entirely as simple. I'll grab Discord here to bring it onto the screen. So for Discord here, we go to your settings button down in the corner, go to security, and of course streamer mode is enabled right now, but on the security screen here, um, it would show you the option to enable two-factor, and you would go through the exact same procedure of uh, using the uh, the app to add a new uh, a new two-factor account. So you open your Google Authenticator app, you tip, uh, tap the button in the corner to add a new account, you scan the barcode that Discord offers you this time, you punch in the six digits that Discord, uh, Discord wants from, uh, from its entry, and you hit OK, and now Discord is enabled for two-factor. Both of these may require you to log out and log back in like right then and there. Sometimes certain things don't work until you log out and log back in again. You may just want to do that to make sure that the two-factor is actually enabled as well, to make sure it does prompt you and that you are able to actually punch in the two-factor number, you know, the, the pin number basically that it presents you, and you're able to log in. So if you're looking for why we're doing this, the idea is that two-factor is more secure because it contains two different pieces to log in, right? The two factors are something you have and something you know. So normally when you log in, you're simply using your password that you know. That's your sort of authentication. This is my username, which everybody out there knows, and this is the password that nobody else there knows, so I can log in because I know the password. The problem is that if I lose that password, um, I don't know it, and if somebody else uh, finds that password, they can get in without me having any real control over that. The two-factor means that there's one more thing that somebody has to have in order to get in, and I have that part on me at all times, or at least I have that in a safe location at all times where I know where that is. So. 
Uh, if I have one of those fobs that has a little button on it that generates a number, some people are working at banks or large businesses have these where you need it to log into your computer. Uh, it generates a code much like you're seeing in the Google Authenticator app. And that's because you carry that on you at all times. So even if somebody found your password, they can't log in as you because they don't have that thing that you carry. They would have to mug you and torture you for your password and get your device and know how to use them all at the same time. And it's it just makes it that much more secure. So that's all we need to talk about tonight. I just want to make sure that you enable two-factor authentication on your account. It is very important. Uh, there's a wave of, uh, of hacking going on, or at least people using forgot my password and other methods to reset things. And at least if you have two-factor, there's a lot more hoops to jump through for the person trying to attack you. Um, it's just something smart to keep in mind. Any place that you can apply these two factors, I, I, I recommend uh, enabling it. And the Google Authenticator program is a great conduit for that because it supports many of them. If you like what you saw in this video, please do hit the like button below or leave a comment. I love to talk to you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.